Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is a squared minus b squared. This is equal to 64, let's call this equation 1. a times b, this is equal to 8, let's call this equation 2. And that a is not equal to 0, and b is not equal to 0. So what is a plus b? What is the value of a plus b from here? Let's provide a solution. Now, from equation 1, which is a squared minus b squared, this is equal to 64. So the first step from here is to square both signs. Let's square both signs from here. So that now, a squared minus b squared raised to the power of 2. This is in the form of a minus b raised to the power of 2 which we can express as a squared minus 2ab, then plus b squared. Applying this algebraic identity from here, this implies we have a raised to the power of 2, raised to the power of 2, then subtract 2 times a squared times b squared, then plus b to the power of 2, raised to the power of 2. So this is equal to 64 raised to the power of 2 from here. The next step is that a to the power of 2 raised to the power of 2. This is in the form of a to the power of n raised to the power of m, which we can express as a to the power of n times m. Applying this exponent property, then we have a to the power of 4 subtract 2 now, here we have a squared and b squared. This we can express as a, b raised to the power of 2. This is in the form of a to the power of n times b to the power of n, which we can express as a, b raised to the power of n. So we have applying this property here. So then plus b to the power of 4. This is equal to 64 raised to the power 2. So the next step from here, we have a to the power of 4 plus b to the power of 4 subtract, now this is 2, a, b raised to the power of 2, this is equal to 64 squared. So let's take, so here we have a to the power of 4 plus b to the power of 4 minus 2, a, b raised to the power of 2. So let's take this minus 2, times a b squared on the right hand side. So we have a to the power of 4 plus b to the power of 4. This is equal to 64 squared plus 2 times a b raised to the power of 2. So this implies that we have a to the power of 4 plus b to the power of 4. This is equal to 64 raised to the power of 2 then plus 2 times, so we have a to the power of 4 plus b to the power of 4, this is equal to 64 raised to the power of 2 plus 2 times a, b raised to the power of 2. So a, b, a times b is what we have in equation 2, which is equal to 8 from here. So we have 8 raised to the power of 2. So a to the power of 4 plus b to the power of 4, this is equal to 64 times 64, then plus 2 times 8 squared. This is equal to 64. Now, since 64 is common here, we can factor out 64 so that we have a to the power of 4 plus b to the power of 4. This is equal to 64. Into the parentheses, this is equal to 64 plus 2 from here. So this implies that a to the power of 4 plus b to the power of 4, this is equal to 64, multiplying by 64 plus 2, which is equal to 66. So let's call this equation 3 from here. Now, in the next step, in the next step, given a squared plus b squared raised to the power of 2, we can express this as a 
to the power of 4 plus b to the power of 4 then plus 2a squared b squared all right so this implies that here we have a squared plus b squared raised to the power of 2 this is equal to a to power 4 plus b to power 4 this is what we have in equation 3 which is 64 times 66 then plus here we have 2 we can express a squared times b squared as a times b raised to the power of 2 so we have a squared plus b squared raised to the power of 2 this is equal to 64 times 66 then plus here we have 2 times a b from equation 2 this is equal to 8 so we have here 8 raised to the power of 2 so a squared plus b squared raised to the power of 2 this is equal to 64 times 66 then plus 2 times 8 squared this is equal to 64 so let's factor out 64 from here so we have a squared plus b squared raised to the power of 2 this is equal to 64 into the parentheses we have 66 plus 2 from here so we have a squared plus b squared raised to the power of 2 this is equal to 64 multiplying by 66 plus 2 this is equal to 68 now this implies that in the next phase here to solve for a squared plus b squared let's introduce the square root on both sides so that now we have the square root of a squared plus b squared raised to the power of 2 let's eliminate the square root sign from here so that we have a squared plus b squared this is equal to plus or minus the square root of 64 times 68 now this implies that the square root of 64 times 68 this is in the form of square root of a times b which we can express as square root of a times square root of b let's apply this property from here so applying this property here we have a squared plus b squared this is equal to plus or minus the square root of 64 times square root of 68 we can express square root of 68 as 4 times 17 so this is this implies that a squared plus b squared this is equal to plus or minus the square root of 64 this is 8 multiplied by the square root of 4 from here this is the same thing as 2 then square root of 17 so this implies that a squared plus b squared this is equal to plus or minus 8 times 2 this is 16 square root of 17 so this implies we have two values of a squared plus b squared which is equal to 16 square root of 17 let's call this equation one from here then we have a squared plus b squared this is equal to negative 16 square root of 17 let's call this equation 2 now from this equation 1 here which is a squared plus b squared this is equal to 16 square root of 17 so this implies that if you square a squared plus b squared this will give us a positive value and on the right side we have a positive value so we can proceed to solve for a plus b in equation 2 we have that a squared plus b squared this is positive but now on the right hand side we have a negative value so this means that this part is rejected so this part is rejected so let's proceed with a squared plus b squared which is equal to 16 square root of 17 let's call this equation 5 from here the next step is that 
we have that a plus b to the power of 2, this is the same thing as a squared plus b squared plus 2 times a times b. Now, we have that a plus b raised to the power of 2, this is equal to a squared plus b squared is what we have here in equation 5, which is 16 square root of 17. Then plus 2 times AB. Remember from equation 2, which is which is here, A times B is equal to 8. So let's substitute again. So here we have 2 times 8. So A plus B raised to the power of 2. This is equal to 16 square root of 17 plus 8 times 2, which is equal to 16. So this implies that since 16 is common here, we can factor out 16. So that now, here we have 16 into the parentheses. This is the same thing as square root of 17 plus 1. Cross the bracket. Now here we have a plus b raised to the power of 2. This is equal to 16 into the parentheses 1 plus square root of 17. To solve for a plus b, let's introduce the square root sign on both sides. So that now, we eliminate the square root sign on the left hand side. So that a plus b, this is equal to plus or minus the square root of, now this is 16 times 1, which is equal to 16, plus now here we have 16 square root of 17. So this implies that a plus b, this is equal to plus or minus the square root of 16, this is 4, plus, now here we have plus, again here we have square root of 16, which is 4, square root of 17. So we have two values, we have two values of we have two values of a plus b. We have a plus b is equal to, this is 4 into the parentheses, 1 plus square root of 17. This is the first solution here. The second solution is a plus b. This is equal to minus 4 into the parentheses. This is 1 plus square root of 17. This is the second solution. So these are the two set of solutions for A plus B in this algebra problem. So kindly follow the steps, like this video, and subscribe. Kindly like and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.